hi guys welcome back to my channel and in today's video as you could have seen from the title i'm going to be showing you a very detailed beginner friendly you know installation of a wig a closure wig i personally do not recommend frontals for beginners so this wig is a must-have it's a um wig that it looks like a frontal because it's a five by five i'm going to be showing you all of that in this video this hair is from ula hair and the first thing that i see is an instruction booklet it also shows the types of shampoos and conditioners they advise you know based on their own experience that you could use also comes with a stocking cap which is dark brown which is really good for my own complexion also comes with this lashes that i call bomb.com lashes i really really like the lashes and also um, a metal ended rat tail comb that I used to part the wig and also this satin edge tie wrap customized by their brand, you know, for the purpose of this tutorial. Then also it comes with a card that kind of shows you like, you know, how to scan, you know, maybe sharing the details, coupon codes, promotions basically. So I'm going to show you this hair and I'm bringing it out of the bag. The first thing that I noticed was how tightly wefted it was, which is really good. Um, this is a five by five, you know, closure wig, as I said, and it's, it's five by five. I did not need to measure. I already know from experience. And this is a curly wig. The specs will be in the description box as well. It also comes with like size guide. So I'm wearing a size medium, which was very, very snug. I'm going to show you guys later in the video. It comes with two straps, which is the fatter black elastic straps and also the tiny one that looks like a brass strap. Then also the first thing I noticed on the wig itself, it's that the hair is very soft. The light is reflecting on it and you can't really tell, but it is very soft, very, very um cotton candy like but then i did notice that the closure was not bleached i'm going to zoom in you know and show you what i mean by the closure was not bleached also the lace was a little bit lighter than my complexion but it's nothing we cannot fix so we're going to be doing that in the video um now i'm just going to show you what i mean by you know not not being bleached for beginners that want to start wearing wigs you can see there are some small small dark knots at the base of the of the closure you know wigs are usually ventilated and when you ventilate a wig you need to knot it if not it's going to fall out so that knot at the base of the wig is what is showing as just dark dark knots and we don't want that so the first thing we're going to do or i write like to do is i put a foil on my countertop because i don't want any bleach or any chemical on my you know countertop and then I just take my tools, which I'm going to be using every single product I use is going to be in the description box with exact links to purchase, both in the UK and in Nigeria. You can purchase them from nigernaturals.co.uk and nigernaturals.com. So for the bleach powder, we're using True Light Rapid Blue Bleach Powder. We're using two cups. And then we're also going, going to one and a half cup of developer 30 volume developer and it's by choose on same brand and you're going to mix it now you know now that i do wigs a lot i now know like the right measurement the right consistency the consistency we're trying to get is thick enough not to fall off the brush but you know smooth enough to be able to paste like a spread like butter spread like i always say so you're just going to stir it and then if you think you need to you need to add more you can also do as you go but it's better not to have enough than to have too much so I'm just showing you zooming in the um, developer that we're using. So once I stir that in and then we're just basically going to plaster it on the closure. I've had people message me saying, oh, Tosin, I did this and it literally spoiled my entire closure. It's probably because one, you did not monitor it as it was bleaching. Secondly, you probably went in too hard. I'm going in really lightly and I'm plastering it over the entire closure in such a way that it doesn't leak into the main wig. So I'm going to leave this for 15 minutes and I'm going to come back. You can stay by it if you're a beginner, you know, in this process. So I'm going to increase the light of my camera and you're going to see it. I'm going to also show you a before and after, you know, shortly now just to see how it looks. When you bleach it, remember how it was earlier. Now it's a lot more like um, scalp-like. So basically what we're doing is we're just camouflaging it. So we just lighten the dots or the knots at the base of the closure and then it's going to look like your scalp. I'm going to show you a before and after now. So this was how it was before. Look at how it was dark and grayish. Now this is a more like scalp, like even without a stocking cap underneath. So now we're going to tint the lace and I'm going to be using Ritz dye. You can use a door dye. This is a dye for fabric and the lace is a fabric. We're going to use really, really hot water. Please be careful and don't do this beside your child or an infant. And I use just one cap. In fact, the solution that I did was too much, but I just wanted to show you for the purpose of this video. So you want to do definitely a test first. So I just throw in a strand and I see it. Can you see it's a lot like my complexion now? 
and then I kind of um, also paint it on. You can decide to soak your wig inside, but I find that when I do that and I leave it too long, it kind of dyes the roots, the knots that we just bleached. And we're not trying to, we're just trying to dye the lace, not dye the, the knots. So you leave it to dry naturally or you use a blow dryer. But I'm going to wash it off because I want to remove any brassiness. So I'm using um, the shampoo that I just showed you, which is a brightening shampoo. All the details will be in the description box. This video is detailed, but I don't want it to be an hour long either. So this is basically just the hair and I'm just parting it just to show you, you know, what I did and how more natural looking it's getting. You don't need to worry about the front part of the lace. As you can see, I did not even paint on that part because we're going to cut it off anyway. But this is now looking more like it. And then I just go in with my blow dryer. This is a Red by Kiss 1875 mid style hotter blow dryer. That's what it's called. Also for sale, you know, on NigerNaturals.co.uk and NigerNaturals.com. And you're able to purchase that for yourself. And then once the wig is dry, as I said, you can leave it to dry naturally. But I wasn't, I didn't have luxury of time. I did this literally just before I went out. And I'm already wearing my dress <laughs> to go out in this video. So I'm just showing you what came out after washing, which is nothing. This is not shedding. This is just obviously because of all the manipulation. And it's curly hair. It's normal. And I think this is a good size, you know, for... Um, hair that came out of the hair it's nothing too serious so now i'm just going to you know usually i lay my wig and do my makeup but because i was going out i did my makeup first so i'm just going to keep quiet and you're going to see the rest okay so i'm just finishing up my makeup i'm wearing the the lashes that came with the with the wig let me look down so you can see it's a little bit out of my comfort zone if i turn to the side i'm literally like touching it but i like it my husband said he liked it so I'm just going to install the wig I've not cut the lace as you can see this is the lace of the wig I'm just going to cut it with this which is an eyebrow razor so I'm going to cut that now then I'm going to put it on my head I'm going to set my part I have some items here which I'm going to be inserting in the video as I'm going so you guys can see the products that I'm using this is a closure wig as I said earlier at the beginning of the video so it won't need too much I'm just going to wear that as center part because I'm going out now Today's my aunt's birthday. Oh, yesterday was my aunt's birthday, but I'm going to see her today. So, yeah, um, I'm just going to keep talking and I'm just going to get right into the video. What I'm just doing now is um, the bra kind of elastic straps that came with it. I'm just putting it into the wig so that it can be secure. Although the wig comes already very snatched, so that's fine you don't need to do too much but this is just my preference yes so i'm just putting it i'm going to show you guys what i'm doing anyway so so that's that then the bigger elastic band is fine i don't need to make it loose or tighter i just need to ensure that the two sides are secure and put it over my head like this There's a mirror here, so I might be looking to the side a lot. There's also a small mirror here, so this will help me when I'm looking down. Oh, I've not even cut the lace. I think it looks nice even like this. Although obviously this could, this would need to go down better. I just need to make sure that it's at the center of my hair. I'm going to glow this wig down. You don't have to, but I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to take um, the comb that came with it. And you guys, hair makes such a difference. Like, I was looking like cola nut earlier, but it makes such a difference. And I've not even styled this. So, the first thing I'm going to do is just ensure that my part is as straight as I like it. And I think this is fine. This is fine. Then I'm going to cut off this lace using this. So I'm just going to clip the hair away. I have like clamps. And everywhere, you guys can get all these tools from Nigeria Naturals in Nigeria and also in the UK. So you can get the clamps, you can get the brow blade. Everything I've used in this video, wear your plug. Besides the hair, obviously, because we don't sell hair. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut this. And you guys know I always tell you, you never cut your lace in a very um, straight manner. You want to kind of 
let your hands curve a bit. I'm not. I'm going to show you guys how this lace looks on my head before I even glue it. Like it's literally almost like undetectable on my skin. This is without gluing it. This was the excess lace that I removed. Like look at it on my head. Then where's my scissors? Okay, my scissors. I'm just going to use it to remove the. Is it recording? Okay, it's recording. I'm going to use it to remove the excess of the edges. Without like cutting the hair. Just I think this is the part where I like to tweeze. I like to tweeze this place just a little bit. So I'm going to tweeze that now. So I'm just going to use a regular tweezer. And I'm going to just pick a bit out of it. And this is just to ensure that this place is not too bulky. Like we don't want it to be too bulky. So I'm just going to do that now. So is it in no particular order? I think I'm going to move my mirror here so you guys can see what I'm doing even better. I'll try and put it like on my thigh. So I don't even bother like combing out the parts that I've tweezed. Because once I'm done, I will just brush it out with the hair. So I think I'm done with this side. We're not, we don't want to go in too heavy. I really like this lace, guys. I really, really like this lace. So You don't want anywhere to be bald. So you just, just sparingly. And the only reason why I'm doing it is because really nobody's hairline is this full. So it's just sparingly. Yeah. I think I've gotten the density that I want on that side. Okay, and this side is fine. So I'm just going to comb that out now. Like it's going to translate into shed hair. So oh, let me see. I'm just going to use a brush so it's a bit easier to, to remove. So that's the hair that shed out of it. Okay. Okay, so you guys, even like this, you can literally wear this hair out, but we're going to take it a notch up and just style it properly. You guys, this wig is so snug. So, so snug. Remember, I've not glued it down. I've not done anything. I've literally just only worn the wig on my head and twisted it a bit. Now, there's some flyaways here, uh, and I'm going to use a wax stick to remove that. I'm going to just apply some serum first. Just to remove any dullness from the hair. I'm sure the camera is picking up everything I'm doing. So, and you guys, I don't know if I've mentioned at the beginning, but this hair is so fluffy, like in a good way, like cutting candy fluffy. Look at it. it's so so fluffy. I'm still going to go into define the curls, but I'm just putting my serum first. Just to give it a little bit of luster. Then I'm going to get my hair wax. I'm using the Tiggy brand. So they're the creators of Bedhead. I have some hair on it already because I've used it before. I'm just going to take that out. So this is the hair wax. And you're literally going to apply it like a roll on. And your head. You just push it up from the base. You can then go in with the hot comb. If this place was like really really bulky this is fine I might go in with the hot comb I'm not sure yet let me see how well we move and then okay now all the flyaways are gone don't worry about um, maybe worrying that the, the parts will be greasy it won't be don't worry the wax is like Japanese hair wax it's not going to it's not heavy so as you can see, I'm still able to comb through just to move it back a bit. Then you can decide to leave it like this, but I would like to define the curls and I'm going to glue it down. Then I'm going to put like a scarf on my perimeter. I like to use an elastic because I feel it's tighter, but it depends on you. So I'm going to define my curls. I'm going to keep quiet and I'm just going to go with everything. I'm going to be showing you the products that I'm using. This is what I'm using. The freeze no more. I'm not sure it's showing clearly on the camera curl spray okay this is what I'm good at 
curl cream, not curl spray. And I'm going to mix it with the leave-in conditioner. As I said, you don't need to do all of this, but this is just my personal preference. You can use the cancer curling cream, you can use Shea Moisture, you can use any brand you like, it's up to you. But sometimes, you know, I like when my hair is juicy like this. So I'm just going to apply it a bit. It's going to dry up eventually, but depending on the time, I just like it to look just a bit more defined like this. And I kind of focus here on the ends as well. On the ends as well. I'm going to put it everywhere. Notice I've not done any baby hairs, neither have I like glued it down. So it's really up to you if you want to do all of that. So yeah, I'm just going to keep doing that. Okay, I think I like that. I'm just going to go in with the tail of my tail comb in some adhesive and some glue. And in this point, you can use ghost bond, you can use bold hold, you can use any of the ghost bonds range, platinum, XL, whatever you want to use is up to you. So usually what I just do is, I first of all, I find out how forward or how backward I want my wig to be. And some people like to put their wigs on their hairline and that's what causes traction and alopecia to me. So, <laughs> or part of the reasons. So I'm not going to do that. I like my own a bit forward beyond my hairline. So I'm just going to move my hair back as you guys can see my hairline. And I'm just going to put just, I just use one line of glue. Let me bring my mirror up. I'm just going to use one line of glue. And that's because I take off my wig every night. If you're looking for something more permanent, you might use like um, more glue. I just use one line. Because even here, there's still a few strands of my natural hair. So I'm just being extremely careful. And I kind of spread it out right some people need to use more than this if you're in more humid regions but over here this this works i don't need to do more than this literally this is all i do and then i literally place my i'm looking down because i need to see what i'm doing and let me just look down okay you guys can see and then i place my my hair my lace on the spots that i just did so, let me see, right, okay, and I just place my, my stuff here. And you can also go in with like got to be spray. And I just kind of ensure that it tacks down. And just, I'm going to focus shortly but i'll do that this is my got to be spray the regular one and i just kind of just go from perimeter to perimeter and then immediately i kind of go in with an elastic like can you see it's already smudged with like glue from the past like I literally just take this when I'm done doing this when I tie I just maybe do my makeup but my makeup is already done today or I use that time to clean up my like my table and everything that I used to dress up just so that the hair is melting you know <laughs> for lack of a better word just so the hair is melting and then i've tied this down i want to ensure that no strands are caught up into the knot i made and then at this point i'm going to as i said set my part this is the part where i then take the hair and i use like a holding <laughs> a holding mousse and I put it here because I like my hair to have some lift a bit. If you don't have a holding mousse, you can use got to be spray. Just make sure that you're not too heavy handed, you know, so that the hair is not crunchy. We don't like crunchy hair. So I'm going to be doing that on camera. 
I have moose, but I don't want to get up again. So just make sure that you don't do more than this. If not, I shade you. You're doing too much. And then you make sure you comb it through like this. So it's back a bit. And then you're going to take your clips, your prong clips, and you're going to put it here just so that it stays back a bit. So that when, when you take off this, the hair doesn't just look like this. We want it to have a little bit of, like a cobra, not like, you understand? So I'm just going to get my prong clips. And I probably would have to get my mousse now and put it here. So one second. So this is the clip. It's like a duck clip, alligator clip. So we're just going to put it here. Then we're also going to put it here. If you're in a hurry, you can go in with a blow dryer, but I'm not in too much of a hurry. I need to leave the house in about an hour, so I still got some time. So this is just the mousse I'm using. This is Motion's mousse. So you don't want anything that will leave your hair too crunchy, as I said. Like it's not a um, wrap and set. <laughs> so I'm just putting more mousse just to set the curls. You can also use it to like so that the ones on your hand doesn't waste to crunch up your, your curls so yeah that's about it i'm gonna come back when this sets and then i'm gonna talk about the pros and cons and then you might want to go in with more living conditioner and you know make sure that your curls are set at the back you know like because i think i only did the sides and just to ensure that everywhere is really really nice and properly moisturized you know so that once you go out your hair is not freezy i don't think this hair will be freezy because of the curls it's really really soft so this hair is from ula hair so i'm going to put all the details on the screen i really like you guys know center part curly hair is one of my staples so this is like perfect for holidays so i'm just going to go and wait till my part sets as i said usually at this point i probably will be doing my makeup or something else so I've taken the elastic band off usually at this point what I do is I just um, begin to arrange the hair you guys this thing is cut in my earrings so let me adjust that one second um, okay right okay so usually what I do is if I want the parting to be a lot brighter I would go in and adjust it now but I don't want that I'm looking at the viewfinder because I'm using it as a mirror but I like the way this hair is I usually would just style it like this I wear like hoops I'll bring this part forward you guys know it's a closure it's not a frontal so obviously my hair will be showing here but I think it's not bad at all like no one is lifting my my, my hair it's not bad it's nice like this Obviously, as nice, as realistic as I think it looks, it's still a lace. If you probably stand over my head, you would see the lace, but no one needs to be that close to you. But from here, this is a great job. I'm not going to go in with any baby hairs. I thought I was going to maybe just a bit, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Or let me see. And I think it's just fine. Usually, if I wanted to go in with baby hairs, I would go in with a got to be and a double-sided brush. That's why you see for... People always say, oh, how do you get your lace to look so nice? I'll, you need to do the work. I feel like with wigs, if you're not going to go all the way, don't bother. Just don't bother. Like, if you're not going to style your hair properly, don't bother. So if I were to do baby hairs, I would just do on this corner. And I hope I don't regret this because this hair looks good already. So if I were to go with baby hairs, I'll just do on this corner like this. And I'll make sure that I hold it down just because you know it's a it's a closure the changes i'm even going to make down are literally almost negligible like it's not necessary so it's just to give it some like more scope and then i'll go on my own sideburns as well so it's a closure clearly so i just go on my own sideburns give it a little scope on the side as you guys can see and literally that's it it's just perfect like this that's it anything after this is a schedule <laughs> a schedule means it's too much yeah so that's fine that is fine like this i think i'm cool with this yep i'm cool with just this one on this side and everything else is perfect 
um, okay so literally what you're just going to be doing next is any finishing touches I really really love the way this hair came out I think it's so beautiful let me just um, puff my face and I'm just going to give like a overall review of this hair okay so that's about it guys this hair is from Ula hair it came literally in like a week less than a week actually maybe four days it came from Ula hair I'm going to put the details and the exact specs on the screen on the screen here so you guys can check it out I have zero complaints about this hair as you guys can see from the beginning except the fact that oh yeah I had to bleach the hair but otherwise that I love the texture I'm gonna stand up so you guys can see the length I love the, the the lace it was so easy to melt into my hair look guys I did not even need to pluck the part I only plucked the perimeter of the hair just to suit my preference you could have easily just worn this hair glued it down and you're good to go so that's about it. I really, 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 really love this hair. I'm going to wear it out now because I'm going out. And I'm going to stand up. I'm going to show you guys the length. So I don't know if you can see. Let me just adjust my dress. Can you see? It's Because it's curly hair, it's like almost above my butt. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a stunner. It's so pretty. And I'm going to take pictures now. And I'm going to post it on my Insta. And yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you like. I'm going to put all the links to purchase in the description box. Make sure you comment. Make sure you check out Ula hair. Make sure, I'm going to tag them as well. So you guys can go and shop with them if you like this hair. I'm going to see if I have any discount coupon codes as well. And I'll put it in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, stay blessed. Bye-bye.